China has just made a bold move in the global space race by launching 18 new satellites into orbit on October 15, 2024. This isn't just another launch. It's part of their ambitious Thousand Sails Mega Constellation, a project aiming to deploy over 14,000 satellites. These satellites are set to provide global internet coverage, challenging SpaceX's Starlink and shaking up the future of space-based communications. But this project is more than just connectivity, it raises crucial concerns about space debris and the growing congestion in low Earth orbit. In this video, we'll explore why this mission matters and the challenges China faces as it races to dominate space. The Thousand Sails Mega Constellation is part of China's larger goal to establish a dominant presence in the global satellite internet market. Led by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology, SSST, this ambitious project will eventually place 14,000 low-Earth orbit satellites into space. This vast network aims to deliver internet services to remote regions, enhancing global communications and creating new opportunities for businesses, governments, and individuals alike. By the end of 2025, the first stage will see 1,296 satellites launched, with 648 satellites planned by the end of this year alone. The Thousand Sails project isn't just about providing internet, it's a strategic maneuver to secure China's position in an increasingly competitive market. It directly challenges SpaceX's Starlink and OneWeb, two Western-backed mega constellations. Beyond commercial competition, the strategic value of controlling thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit LEO extends into national security. China's military has shown significant interest in how satellite constellations can enhance surveillance, communication, and even defense systems. The use of satellite networks in modern warfare, as seen in the Ukraine conflict, has further emphasized their importance. The Thousand Sails satellites, designed as flat panel, modular units weighing approximately 300 kg each, reflect modern trends in satellite design. Their production is efficient, with SSST capable of manufacturing up to 300 satellites per year. This scalability is crucial, as China needs to ramp up its launch capacity to meet its ambitious deployment goals. But with this rapid expansion, concerns about orbital debris and overcrowding in space have come to the forefront, especially with the risks posed by the Long March 6 rocket. The Long March 6 rocket is a key player in China's efforts to deploy the Thousand Sails Mega Constellation. Designed by the Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology, the rocket can deliver payloads of 4,500 kg to a 700-kilometer sun synchronous orbit. This hybrid design, combining liquid propellant core stages with solid rocket boosters, allows for versatile and powerful launches. Its success in launching two batches of satellites for the Thousand Sails project demonstrates its importance in China's space program, not just for this mission, but for other upcoming large-scale satellite projects. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the Long March 6A is not without challenges. The rocket has faced upper stage fragmentation, which was highlighted during the first launch in August 2024, when the upper stage broke apart, resulting in over 700 pieces of space debris. This debris not only adds to the growing problem of space junk, but also poses a long-term risk to other spacecraft and satellites. Each piece of debris, traveling at high speeds in orbit, could cause significant damage to operational satellites or even threaten future missions. The October 2024 launch did not report any immediate debris issues, but the potential for upper-stage breakups in future launches remains a serious concern. The sheer scale of China's mega-constellation projects, with thousands of satellites expected in orbit, further amplifies the risk of space congestion. In the event of more fragmentations, space around Earth could become dangerously cluttered, leading to what some experts call the Kessler Syndrome, where space debris collisions cascade into more debris, threatening all satellite operations. Additionally, the brightness of the Thousand Sails satellites has raised alarms among astronomers, their reflective surfaces can interfere with ground-based observations, disrupting important astronomical research. As China continues to expand its satellite network, it will need to address these issues to maintain space safety and balance technological progress with sustainability. 
collaboration between international space agencies and industries will be essential to tackle the debris problem and ensure a safer space environment for future missions. The Thousand Sails Project is a true game-changer for China's space industry, signaling a new era of ambitious commercial space activity. With $943 million in funding from both government and private investors, China is making it clear that it aims to become a major player in the global satellite market. The successful launch of 18 more satellites in October brings China one step closer to establishing a comprehensive satellite network that could rival the world's top systems like SpaceX's Starlink and OneWeb. The scale and speed at which China is developing this mega-constellation is a testament to its commitment to space dominance, both in the commercial and military arenas. What truly sets the Thousand Sails mega-constellation apart is its seamless integration into China's broader national strategy. This satellite network will serve multiple purposes, from providing commercial communications to supporting significant military applications. For China, this isn't just about improving internet access, it's about establishing global dominance in space-based services and securing a strategic advantage in low Earth orbit LEO. By controlling key orbital slots and frequencies, China ensures a long-term foothold in the increasingly crowded LEO environment a critical factor as more countries and companies rush to launch their own mega-constellations. The broader implications of this project for the global space race cannot be overstated. China's ability to rapidly scale its satellite deployment places immense pressure on other nations and private companies to keep up with the growing competition. The project's connection to China's Gaowong National Network further strengthens its position, enabling the country to provide both civilian and military satellite services on a global scale. Yet, this rapid expansion comes with challenges. Issues like space debris, orbital traffic management, and the need to maintain a high launch rate will require significant innovation, research, and logistical coordination. Moreover, international collaboration and regulatory frameworks will become increasingly crucial to ensure that space remains a safe and sustainable environment for everyone. Without these measures, the potential for congestion and even collisions in space could threaten not only the sustainability of future missions, but also the overall health of the space ecosystem. In the long run, the success of this project could define China's influence in space for decades to come. In this video, we have learned about China's ambitious Thousand Sails Mega Constellation and the successful launch of 18 more satellites in October 2024. We explored the technological innovations of the project, the strategic importance it holds for China, and the challenges it faces in managing orbital debris and competition. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.